I'm Monica Smith. I'm the club historian, and I work at the Smithsonian. And I like to give a history moment once a month. I have been um, lax about that this summer, but I hope to be more regular again. Um, and I like to tie it in with a heritage moment or something happening in our community. So today, in honor of National Hispanic Heritage Month, which runs September 15th through October 15th annually, I thought I would share an inspiring story of NASA astronaut, engineer, inventor, author, and vineyard owner, Jose Hernandez. You may have heard of him recently. He's been written up quite a bit because there's a film that just debuted starring Michael Pena as Hernandez. A Million Miles Away is based on the true story of his ascent from an itinerant farmhand to a NASA astronaut. He was born in 1962 in California and considers Stockton to be his hometown. He was one of four children of migrant workers from Mexico. He grew up on what he calls the California circuit, working in fields with his family, picking fruits and vegetables for nine months of the year between March and December. Then he would return to Mexico for three months. During his nine month stints in California, he would attend school across three different districts and he didn't speak English until he was 12. But STEM sp subjects spoke to him from an early age. He said, I gravitated towards math because one plus three is four in any language. As a senior at Franklin High School, he was inspired by the first Latino NASA astronaut. As he recalled, quote, I was hoeing a row of be sugar beets in a field near Stockton and heard on my transistor radio that Franklin Chang Diaz had been selected for the astronaut corps. I was already interested in science and engineering, but that was the moment I said, I want to fly in space. His parents encouraged him to keep pursuing his education and following his dreams. So after he graduated from high school, he enrolled at the University of the Pacific in Stockton, where he earned a degree in electrical engineering in 1984. He was also awarded a full scholarship to the graduate program at UC Santa Barbara, where he earned a master's degree. Then he was accepted as a full-time job at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, where he had served as, uh, in a co-op in college. At Livermore Lab, Hernandez worked on signal and image processing applications in radar imaging, acoustic imaging, and CAT scanning. Later in his career, Hernandez worked on developing quantitative X-ray film imaging analysis techniques, and he applied these um, in many fields, including co-developing the first full field digital mammography imaging system. He has won awards for his work on digital mammography, which has proven successful for detecting breast cancer at an earlier stage than current film and screen mammography techniques. In 2001, he joined NASA's Johnson Space Center and became the chief of the materials and processes branch, but he also decided that now was the time to apply for the NASA astronaut program. And during the application process, when he met with the review board, it included his school inspiration, Franklin Chang Diaz. He remembered, quote, it was strange to find myself being evaluated by the person who gave me the motivation to get there in the first place. But I found that we actually had common experiences and that built up my confidence. Any barriers that existed, he had already hurdled them. That said, and I think this is amazing, the perseverance, he applied and was rejected 11 times from the astronaut program, but he kept going on the 12th, he was successful, and he became a mission specialist in the 19th class of astronauts in 2004. And in 2009, he would blast off as a member of the Space Shuttle Discovery crew on August 28th. While he was there, he served as a mission specialist working in the International Space Station. You can see a picture on the PowerPoint. It was a 14-day trip. They covered 5.4 million miles and circled the Earth 217 times. They also conducted three spacewalks. And I love this quote. I remember the very first time I unbuckled my seatbelt and experienced zero G for the first time. I was making my best Superman impression as I floated down to the mid-deck. But then I saw the window that was pointed directly at Earth. And I got this amazing perspective. Only 500 and some people have had the privilege to see it out of 7 billion. We were over North America. What struck me as beautiful is that you couldn't tell where the US ended and Mexico began. And I said, my gosh, I had to go out of this world to realize that borders are human made concepts designed to separate us. If we can give the opportunity to our world leaders to have the same aha moment, I will guarantee you we wouldn't be troubling, having the troubles we have, unquote. He left NASA in 2011, <clears throat> did a variety of things, including running unsuccessfully, <clears throat> excuse me, for the US House of Representatives in California, but he also enjoyed dedicating time to his wife and their five children. He was very concerned that his kids stay on the straight and narrow and go to college, 
And indeed, his son Julio ended up earning a PhD in aeronautical and astronautics engineering at Purdue. Today, Hernandez splits time between serving as CEO of his company, Terra Luna Engineering, doing public and motivational speaking, and overseeing his California vineyard, Terra Luna Cellars, a full circle moment, as he says, after growing up harvesting grapes and other fruits in, across California and Mexico. Um, he's published a autobiography, and among other honors, um, he's won an honorary doctorate from his alma mater and received the 2016 National Hispanic Hero Award from the United States Hispanic Leadership Institute. So I'll wrap up with another quote. Hernanza said that his father's five ingredients for success were, quote, determine your goal, recognize how far you are from it, draw yourself a roadmap, prepare yourself for the challenge, and work, work, work. Hernandez has since added his own sixth ingredient to the recipe after trying 12 times to become an astronaut. Quote, I tell folks, you got to have the perseverance gene in you to keep trying and believing in yourself and keep improving yourself each time you fail, unquote. Thank you.